Good afternoon and welcome to NYFP. In midday trade on this Thursday afternoon, the major U.S. stock averages have paired earlier session losses. Now the Dow has recovered from its triple-digit loss earlier and has turned positive. Joining me this afternoon is Sandra Navidi of Beyond Global. Sandra, good afternoon. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me, Remy. Well, we've been seeing plenty of volatility today and also overnight. We saw the Japan's uh, Nikkei fall by over 7% on the session. But uh, U.S. stocks have recovered from earlier losses, and it's all down to the reaction to the Fed minutes as well as Bernanke's testimony. Now, I do want to get your take on what you got from the Fed minutes and what the expectation of a Fed exit means. QE is here to stay. Tapering off does not mean tightening. The Fed is divided, but the Bernanke camp has the majority. So depending on the economic uh, environment, we expect potential first signs of weaning off the markets in the fall. And we also got some interesting comments from Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke. Uh, we saw interesting reaction in the equity markets as well. But some of the comments uh, yesterday included that he will continue to monitor what happens in the employment market here in the U.S. as well as inflation. But one interesting comment was that he doesn't see the Fed's uh, stimulus program creating a financial bubble. So what do you make of all of his comments? I think the economy is better, but it's not self-sustained yet, so he's very careful and he's trying to maintain flexibility. We see the market is still very volatile because the market participants think that the environment is artificial and that markets are, it's not a true reflection of fundamentals. So I don't think any dangerous bubbles are imminent, but it's a development that needs to be monitored. And then on the other hand, of course, we need to watch deflation. And that's really important to consider given the recent run up in equity prices. But one other part of the market that I do want to ask you about is commodity prices. Uh, so far this year, we've been seeing uh, gold prices uh, fall uh, exponentially. And we've also seen oil prices uh, decline as well. And that's been reflected in some of the U.S. inflation figures. But what do you make of what we've been seeing in the commodity sector? I think the story of ever-rising demand and shrinking supplies has not held up. Demand has been flat while supplies have been rising. So prices have fallen, which is very good news for the middle class and good news for the economy. At the same time, it's a reflection of slower growth globally. Gold really does not have any fundamentals. It's, it lives on sentiment, and right now sentiment has turned against it. And I think the risks with natural resources are primarily geopolitical, and of course those of manipulations, as we have seen recently in the news regarding several different asset classes within that sector. And uh, Sandra, last but not least, before we wrap it up, as the week is winding down, we head into a holiday weekend here in the U.S. And the Memorial Day usually marks uh, the official beginning to summer. So what trends do you expect to see in the markets uh, heading into the summer months? What we will be watching is continued QE of the not just the Fed, but the ECB and the, the other most important central banks like the Bank of Japan and, and Bank of England. In the U.S., we will be monitoring unemployment and housing and bubbles, of course. In Europe, the focus will be on uh, controlling risks. And so it's, it's um, basically about um, an assessment of risks overall.